days of worn you sound when you're listening to the ground you can hear them coming miles away hit the road and you turn those gears you're alone so you learn to steer it's a long way home so you say did you ever think that if you got everything all the records they don't play the same did you have to grow gotta be the last to know and all the records they don't play the same game but they change Am I? Can you? Okay, thank you. <laughs> awesome. Okay, thank you so much. No? Uh -uh. Rock on. Thank you. Just be very patient. <laughs> in the morning bright happiness I do see the sound it's out of the sea wanna live this way happiness 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 we wanna be free 
you up sure and I'll tell you it's all right and everything makes sense or maybe it don't doesn't really matter I know now everyone gets to So flying by, and I know you're here. You are the one I can melt down to nothing with. Nothing Good morning, with and welcome to Cascade Bicycle Club's Bike Everywhere Breakfast. We will be starting our program at 8 a.m. That's just under half an hour. We will see you then. Thank you.
Sometimes I give myself the creeps. Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me. It all keeps adding up. I think I'm cracking up. Am I just paranoid? So I went to a shrink to analyze my dreams. She said it's the lack of sex that's bringing me down. So I went to the whore. She said my life's a bore. So quit my whining. It's bringing her down. Sometimes I give myself the creeps. Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me.
It's funny how time runs down Things you lose come back around And here you are again, my dear And you say the words I need to hear Good morning, Do and thank you, you for tuning in to Cascade Bicycle Club's love? Bike Everywhere Breakfast. If Our program will start in just under 20 so. minutes. Thank you for being here. Do we'll see you, you soon. Love? Do you love me? Tell me cause I need to know We find ourselves back here again Same old spot where we began But nothing's changed even my doubt And I'm still trying to figure out Do you love me? Do you love me? If you do, then just say so. Do you love me? Do you love me? Tell me, cause I need to know. I've been falling, falling fast. Do you love me? Do you love me? If you do, then just say so. Tell me cause I need to know
Good morning. We're so happy to see you here at the Kaiser Permanente Bike Everywhere Breakfast. Our program will start in 10 minutes. Thanks for being here. When does that start again? Two minutes. Yes. I gotta pee before we start a program, but I'll wait to make this happen. Okay, perfect. So just cue me right before it starts and I'll announce it. Hi, I'm going to show you the half fish pose and this is a great combination hip flexor stretch and also at now adding a spinal twist leading with the chest plate and turning your head and holding for 30 seconds, maintaining deep breathing during the entire 30 seconds.
I, I'm showing you how to step into a pigeon pose, which is a great stretch for cyclists, for the hip flexors. You may use a yoga block or pillow for support if you're feeling anything uncomfortable and hold for 30 seconds. Enjoy. For a tricep stretch, take your right arm straight up, bend it at the elbow to your back, and then use your left arm to push against your elbow and give that stretch into your tricep. Hold it for about 30 seconds and repeat on the other side. For a shoulder stretch, take your right arm straight across your chest, pointing to the left, and bring your left arm and push against your elbow to give that nice stretch. Hold for about 30 seconds and repeat on the other side. Good morning, and thank you to Team Thrive for getting us started. 
I am so pleased to welcome you to the Kaiser Permanente Bike Everywhere Breakfast, and we're celebrating it on World Bicycle Day, so on point. We're broadcasting live from Bell Harbor in downtown Seattle, and I know you're saying, hey, I was at this event last year and it didn't quite look like this. But then again, the world didn't quite look like this last year. So this is a new way of doing things for us. And we are so grateful for you being here with us virtually this morning. My name is Sasha Summer Cousineau, and it is my sincere honor to be your MC and to spend the next, oh, 40 or 45 minutes with you. As we are broadcasting from Seattle, the Cascade Bicycle Club would like to acknowledge that we are on the traditional land of the first people of Seattle, the Duwamish people, past and present, and honor with gratitude the land itself and the Duwamish pride, tribe. And before we launch fully into our program, I would like us to meet each other where we're at and acknowledge this very specific moment in time. If you are feeling like me, you might be feeling this sense of collective grief and pain that we're all experiencing. Our nation and our community are yet again reeling from the murders of George Floyd. If you're at home and you want to say these names with me out loud, please feel free. You can even type them in the chat. We're reeling from the murders of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and countless others. And this time, this is set against the backdrop of a global pandemic. So yes, grief, confusion, righteous anger. But we gather here this morning for a reason, and that is because we are a community, and like any other community, we have shared values. We share our passion for social and environmental justice, and right now, it is so incredibly important that we are living fully in our values, and that we are making those values actionable, meaning taking action, pragmatic action, right now, today, tomorrow, the day after. So given the current state of the world, I am especially grateful to you for your time, your energy, and your care of community this morning. And this is just one way of making our values actionable. And I imagine I'll see you out there in the streets at some point soon as well. Again, thank you for taking this time with me and with Cascade Bicycle Club. And because we are a community, I want to know about you. Please tell me about you. Where are you viewing from? Where in the state or even in the country are you? And more importantly, what are you having for breakfast? I'm having a breakfast burrito with chorizo and I'm feeling pretty pleased about it. Go ahead and pop your location and what you're having for breakfast in the chat. I would like to see what you have to say. And while those are coming up, I want to tell you a couple of other things. Today, we are celebrating Cascade Bicycle Club's 50th anniversary. This is a big deal and a cause for celebration. And we're also celebrating you, our amazing community, who has shown so much flexibility, generosity, and grit. It is because of you that Cascade Bicycle Club has tucked these 50 years under their belt, and it's because of you that Cascade Bicycle Club has a solid and vibrant future. Let's take a look at the chat and see what people are having for breakfast. Um, well, not a lot of breakfast, but a lot of commenting on injustice, and that is, uh, hey, that's righteous. Thank you for that. If you wanna tell me where you're from or what you're having for breakfast, go ahead, we'll come back to it. But for now, I wanna let you know if you are watching on YouTube, we're gonna ask you to make copious use of the chat this morning, so stay with me. I want to conversate with you. This is not one direction, this is two directions. And, oh boy, I would be the silliest MC in the world if I failed to mention, friends, that we're gathered here today because we are raising funds to support Cascade Bicycle Club's really incredible work. 
Our goal is ambitious this morning, but I see you. I see you through your computer screen, and I know you've got this. We can do it. Our goal is $150,000, and together we are going to get there. Let's see. Kim, you had a glory muffin delivered from a place in Wallingford. The chat is moving fast. I love it. We have a coffee and protein drink for breakfast. You made your breakfast and it's delicious as usual, says somebody with the last name Barnes. I have an old lady eyes, old lady eyes. I don't see so well. So <laughs> I'm happy you're talking to me and I'm going to do better at reading those in the future. But we've been talking about community and it does take a community to keep our nonprofit community organizations strong and thriving. So let's thank some other members of our community, shall we? If you want to pop your virtual applause into the chat, please feel free. This morning's title sponsor is Kaiser Permanente. Check out that logo right over there. Our organizational sponsor, Rad Power Bikes. Our tandem sponsors, Stoll Reeves and Perkins Cooey. Our bicycle sponsors, Sound Transit, Washington State Potato Commission, and Seattle Children's. Our unicycle sponsors, Columbia Bank and Swedish Medical Center. Thank you so much to the sponsors. And also, thank you to our virtual table captains. You are taking this virtual ride with us, and I am so grateful to you. We are happy that you you gathered your friends and your colleagues to join us this morning. So extra thank you to our table captains. And I'd like to thank our elected officials who are joining us this morning. Hey there, thank you to Seattle City Council President Lorena Gonzalez. Thank you to Seattle City Council Member Tammy Morales and Bellevue City Council Member Jared Newenhouse. Rock on. Now, I'd like to introduce you to a little someone special. Dr. Tobias Deng, psychiatrist and medical director of mental health and wellness at Kaiser Permanente Washington. Kaiser Permanente Washington has been a Cascade historical partner and supporter for many years. They support this here Bike Everywhere breakfast. They are title sponsors of the Seattle to Portland ride and they support our work with the Major Taylor Project. We are aligned in missions, and because of that, we are able to do so much great work together. And now, take it away, Dr. Tobias Deng. Hello, my name is Dr. Tobias Deng. I'm the Medical Director of Mental Health and Wellness with uh, Kaiser Permanente Washington. And I'd like to welcome you um, to your uh, meeting today and like to speak a little bit about uh, what it is to be uh, bicycling and what kind of methods we have from Kaiser Washington to you. Um, first, of, I want to share a little bit that I uh, had been a member of Cascade uh, several years ago and it was a great pleasure to uh, participate in some of the rides. I personally am a, a flying wheels and also a ramrod survivor uh, and certainly have uh, enjoyed all of the uh, benefits of biking and still like to do more of it. Uh, unfortunately, don't get to bike as much as I would like to these days. So certainly very uh, uh, avid supporter of your of your organization and also aware that um, our organization is uh, uh, sponsoring Team Thrive, uh, uh, KP Washington sponsored uh, women team that uh, I think you were all very proud of. So a big shout out to them. Um, I think it is a really important time, especially in this time uh, of, uh, you know, physical distancing, social distancing, to be physically active and to uh, continue the good patterns that we have established when times were different in terms of exercise and fitness, uh, probably more than ever. And I want to really give a big shout out to Cascade Bicycle Club to be such a great advocate for physical fitness, health, and safety uh, in our community. So we love to partner with you and we find it a extremely uh, um, enlightening resource to have you around. Um, I think also that Cascade really plays a significant leadership role at this time. Um, this is a time when uh, people are socially isolating due to the COVID-19 pandemic, um, when they are ideally uh, still exercising, but probably not as much as they have done before. Uh, and I think physical exercise uh, remains one of the most important pieces uh, to maintain and promote mental health and physical health, of course. Uh, in my role as a mental health uh, medical director and, and practicing psychiatrist, I see every day how important it is to uh, speak with patients and 
our members to talk about physical health and about mental health. So we definitely want to make sure that we highlight for all our members, but also the community at large, how important it is to exercise regularly. Um, I can only understand that probably many of you are also adjusting to the situation either through the workplace or through other uh, circumstances that are challenging at this time. Um, we definitely see that a lot of patients are, have members are uh, uh, struggling with higher levels of anxiety due to social isolation, um, which we're trying to address. Um, on the one hand, I think it's important to acknowledge this. On the other hand, I think it's also important that we re re revert to resilience oftentimes in times of stress, and that especially feeling physically healthy to have a good fitness uh, routine um, makes us more resilient than um, maybe people think we have that. So I encourage you to continue um, good physical fitness, good health patterns uh, to continue to have those types of uh, health resilience uh, um, uh, capabilities. I acknowledge also that probably your biking season may have uh, been cut short or changed a lot uh, through um, multiple large events have been canceled and so forth. But I would like to you know, say that we don't need to give up because of that. I think it continues to be important to, uh, to strive to stay healthy, to go out and bike. Uh, I've heard that many bikes are sold out because people are biking a lot more, which is wonderful. Um, and the streets are more empty, um, so maybe a little bit safer to bike around um, while cars are uh, staying at home and uh, and work and people are working from home. So many th many thanks to you. It's uh, really a great pleasure for our TP Washington to partner with Cascade. Um, I wish you a great meeting today. I think it will be wonderful to connect. I think it's always important to differentiate between social distancing and physical distancing. So we want to physically distance, we want to wear a mask, we want to be safe, but we also want to continue to be socially connected as you do wonderfully with your organization uh, that we'd like to support and we support everything you do. Thank you very much and I hope you all stay healthy out there uh, and bike safely. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dang. Caring for our physical and mental health is so important during these unprecedented times. And I'm noticing there's so much joyful chat happening over there on YouTube. Let's take a look and see what some folks are saying. People are giving shout outs and thank yous to the sponsors. That rocks. People are thanking their table captains. Uh, we have folks joining us. Eric from Bainbridge Island, Joel from Bainbridge. I saw somebody from Whidbey Island earlier. Somebody else um, joining us from Madison. That is a Madison, Wisconsin, that would be. And hey, Joel from Capitol Hill. Um, I saw somebody from Seward Park. We're neighbors. I live in Hillman City. So this is fantastic. Th keep the joyful conversation going. So you just heard Dr. Dang talk about some of our current challenges. When Cascade got started, we had a different set of challenges that you will hear more about in just a moment. I would like to introduce board member Haley Keller, who you might also recognize as the owner of Peddler Brewing. Thanks. As Sasha said, I'm Haley Keller, and I own Peddler Brewing Company in Ballard with my husband, Dave. And I also spend my time caring for our two children, Colin, who is a year and a half old, and Ryan, who is four months old. I came to Cascade Bicycle Club through the Advocacy Leadership Institute and have been a board member for five years. 50 years ago, a group of people came together to advocate for safer streets and trails for people who walk and bike. And from these first gatherings on Mercer Island, a lifelong bond was formed and the beginning of a vibrant, robust community was created. Cascade of the 1970s had, well, some amazing bike outfits and lots of mustaches, but there wasn't yet a Burt Gilman Trail, an STP, a 520 trail across Lake Washington, or bicycle education program in schools. 50 years later, we have evolved into a nationally recognized club with three important pillars supporting all aspects of our community, advocacy, education, and community rides and events. The roots of advocacy and community are core to Cascade Bicycle Club still today. We have seen communities that want safe neighborhoods for biking and walking. 
the Northgate footbridge broke ground after years of advocacy to connect people to the new light rail station, expanding transportation access. Families have told us that they want to ride safely together. In East King County, our supporters have been instrumental in advancing the Bellevue Bike Network and Regional Trails Network. This includes the new trails, like East Trail, connecting families to forest. We have seen people who want to bike to work, especially since the West Seattle Bridge has been closed. And in congested Seattle, we are leading the charge toward completing the Seattle Basic Bike Network. And now we are seeing more people dusting off their long neglected bikes, eager to ride safer, safely through their neighborhoods to exercise and to care for their mental health. And we are here to welcome them into our community. All of these changes are because of our strong advocacy community and we must keep pedaling forward. Cascade has taken bicycle education into public schools, teaching kids to be confident and ride their bikes safely through their neighborhoods. And I am so proud of our major Taylor project. It was founded to reach undeserved youth in cycling. And some of these teams made it, teens made it to the National Cyclocross Championship this past year, which was amazing to see. Many of you know Cascade through the rides such as STP and Flying Wheels, or our more social events like the Seattle Night Ride, which is my favorite. It pained us to cancel the ride season this year because it meant that we wouldn't be seeing so many familiar faces. It meant that we wouldn't be supporting the local communities that we ride through. And it meant that some of you wouldn't be meeting your personal bike goals this year. But we are working on ways to ride STP virtually together in July. I hope you'll join us for that. We at Cascade can't and don't do this work alone. It takes an incredible community. Donors, volunteers, advocates, businesses, and government agencies make this work possible. And you do too. Thank you for being a part of these last 50 years, and here's to 50 more. Wow, thank you, Haley. What an incredible community. I want to hear about your favorite ride. What is your favorite ride, and where do you do it? I've seen in the chat some of you are joining us from Seattle, Bellevue, Spokane, even Chicago. I don't know if you've seen the Chicago person on there, but I've seen it. So tell me about your favorite ride. What is it? Is it the STP? Do you have a favorite neighborhood trail? Do you like to go BMX riding with your child? Tell me about it. Let's see what we're saying in the chat. Uh, anytime I'm looking down here, it's because I'm looking at a monitor so I can interact with you. Um, well, we see somebody who says they enjoy chasing their three-year-old around on a trike. That sounds enjoyable, and it certainly sounds like it would keep you fit. Go ahead and tell me more. We will come back to your favorite rides in a moment. But I have another fantastic guest I would like to introduce to you. Please allow me the pleasure of introducing Nick Zilkowski. Nick likes to ride the Iron Horse Trail. Good morning. Years ago, it was Cascades events which helped me find a love of bicycling. And ever since, riding bikes has been a very important part of my life. I was recently elected to the board by our members. Thank you, members. I look forward to giving back. I'm excited to be here this morning to celebrate some of Cascade's great accomplishments over the last 50 years and the impact those accomplishments have had in our community. It's my great honor to present the Doug Walker Award. Named after the first recipient in 2005, the Doug Walker Award is given each year in recognition of an individual organization or company that has shown leadership, vision, and innovation in improving lives through bicycling. When looking back on our 50 years, we know the success of the organization rests on the shoulders of giants. People who pulled together a group to advocate for bike safety and create memory-making experiences through rides. A group that poured their heart and soul into this organization. This year, I am proud to announce that our recipient is not just one person, but all of our past board presidents who have been instrumental in building the community that we have today and making Washington the most bike friendly state. Please join me in honoring our 2020 Doug Walker Award recipients. Like I said, the shoulders of giants. 
Thank you again for all you have done for the organization. Now I would like to announce our Partner of the Year Award. This award goes to an organizational partner each year for their dedication to our mission. In 2019, the Partner of the Year was Rad Powered Bikes. Rad Powered Bikes, a Seattle-based electric bike brand, supports all three of Cascade's mission pillars, advocacy, education, and community. Upon accepting this award, Mike Radenbaugh, founder and CEO, had this to say. All of us at Rad Powered Bikes are committed to investing in bicycling advocacy and infrastructure improvements, and Cascade has been a tremendously valuable partner in this mission. We're proud to extend this partnership and look forward to continuing to work alongside Cascade to expand e-bike awareness and accessibility across the state. Congratulations, Rad Powered Bikes, and thank you for being a community partner and supporting our mission of improving lives through bicycling. Thank you, Nick. And congratulations to all of our past presidents and Rad Power Bikes. Let's see, did somebody tell me about their favorite chat? Oh, so many beautiful rides, Barb is saying. All over the state, Olympic Discovery Trail, Spokane River Centennial Trail, Snohomish. Barb, you really bike around, don't you? That is fantastic. Well, keep the chat going. We love your joyful comments. Now, I get to introduce you to one of the Doug Walker Award recipients. Please join me in welcoming, you can pop your virtual applause right in the chat. Please join me in welcoming Board President Tamara Schmautz. Good morning. Thank you all so much for joining us. I am so proud to be leading this organization. I can say with certainty that when I agreed to be board president, this year is not what I could have ever envisioned. We are at an unprecedented time for all of us, and it is impacting our community in so many different ways. COVID-19 has amplified the inequities that many in our black communities have been living with for so long. Some of us are just being awakened to these injustices, and for some of us, this is a daily lived experience. The injustices feel insurmountable, and it is imperative that we challenge these systems. The pandemic has prevented us from getting together and celebrating in this space today, but also in our schools and together on our rides. The only other time the SDP was canceled was when Mount St. Helens erupted 40 years ago. We have never before canceled an entire ride season. However, our work and our mission continues in new, creative, and exciting ways. Our Advo Advocacy Leadership Institute trains bike advocates on how to stand up for safe biking in their community. This year, we transitioned the program to a virtual training, making it more accessible to advocates all across the state. We have created online educational videos for our Let's Go program so kids learn how to navigate their neighborhood safely. Now, students from all over the country can view these videos and learn these skills. We are advocating for COVID resilient transportation where there is more space for people to walk, bike, connect, and play. It's imperative that biking is safe because biking is core to the new future that we are embarking upon together. A future not merely of cities choked in congestion and pollution, but vibrant, people-centered, and community-centered neighborhoods and business districts. We are planning a virtual SDP which will be free and will open up the experience of riding 200 miles to anyone who wants to try it, 10 to 20 miles at a time. Even this breakfast is now open to people everywhere. We have people joining us from across the country and even the world. A big shout out to Fred in Vietnam. All of these changes have made us wonder, what took us so long? Of course, we would prefer to see you in person. We would love to ride together to Vancouver. I miss you, I miss riding with you, and I especially miss my MTP students. And yet, we are realizing we can connect with more people by changing the way we work. Let's be real, despite the huge gains in safe places to bike, a growing bike community, and kids and youth engaging with biking at school and after school, there's more work to do. 
Whether you feel comfortable getting on a bike yourself or biking down your street with your kids depends a lot on where you live, your zip code, the color of your skin, your comfort level on a bike. There's much more to do to achieve our vision of biking for all. The tenacity that began in 1970 lives on in each of us in this moment. We imagine a future where bicycling is accessible to everybody, no matter your age, gender, race, ethnicity, ability, or community you live in. We are committed to lead our work with a racial equity lens to eliminate all inequities in community health outcomes and in mobility and transportation access. I'm excited to announce we recently approved Ch Cascade's racial equity plan and we'll use this lens to lead, lean in, and share and work together. We believe the bicycle is a tool that can disrupt systems that contribute to the climate crisis. We will make decisions based on env environmental impact. We will create opportunities for people to come together by removing barriers and fostering a sense of belonging. Bicycles are an integral part of creating connected, equitable, and thriving communities. Safety is a right. We will champion spaces that foster physical and emotional well-being. We will sh share power, resources, and knowledge as a means to enrich lives and form mutually beneficial partnerships. We will celebrate the existing strength of our partners and participants and seek to be an accessible asset for others. These are big aspirations and are the values that underpin our work going forward. And we have so much work ahead. I'm excited to be the board president and do this work together with you. It's my bike community. And I define myself as a bicyclist. And Cascade has done that. Cascade to me is camaraderie. Like the sense of community uh, is, is my biggest reason for being involved with Cascade. The staff there at Cascade really makes you feel at home. Well, I believe Cascade has become one of the dominant bicycle organizations in the nation, if not the dominant one. Cascade is such a great connector to all of the advocacy and all the education efforts that are going on all across the city. My advocacy involvement with Cascade um, has been around um, a lot of different street improvements in Seattle. I think back on the Westlake bike lane, everybody loves it. You go down there and there's people of all ages riding, people of all abilities riding and walking and it really is just such a success story. The advocacy from Cascade Bicycle Club, both their staff and their volunteers, made a huge impact on me understanding that we had an obligation to make the streets, especially in downtown Seattle, safe for everyone. I see the improvements that Cascade has done in trails and in the west side. Then I get to bring those ideas in Spokane and I feel like uh, because Cascade is a, a large bicycle club and experience organization, then people listen a little better to my suggestions and advice because they know I have the backing of an organization that is knowledgeable in that area. I love the diversity and the outreach that Cascade does. It's worn out because uh, the chain is worn out. It's community. I mean, it's, it's, this is what Major Taylor and Cascade helps to facilitate. I wanted to embed a bike program in schools. This is an initiative that reaches black and brown youth in Seattle's communities of color. That was the purpose of the Major Taylor Project, is to diversify cycling. It teaches them safe biking, it teaches them road rules. It also like is another way to make friends. You get to take a bike, the one you made, for all these weeks. You've been showing up, you've been working hard, and you get to take the bike home and that's what, like one of the benefits of this program. It's not about the bike at all. It's, it's about them finding themselves. It just makes me feel really happy to come every week showing up, just learning something new and then getting excited for the next week. What makes you most proud about this program? That it works. And it's still working with me involved and with me not involved. Another thing that makes me most proud is the community that shows up to support these kids. The staff that's involved with Major Taylor and the staff that's involved in Cascade, they work 
They work their asses off <laughs> for these kids, for these students, and the students do too. The Cascade donors are like absolutely amazing. The people who donate the bikes, I mean, they're amazing. So I just want to say thanks, I guess. Right now, Cascade's role in education and advocacy around safe bicycling is way more important than ever. After COVID, there are a lot more people riding their bikes. I actually think COVID is going to change a lot of things, but I think um, I expect to see a positive change in bike transportation and bike infrastructure because of it. Cascade's going to help those people expand what they can do and see those places that we all know and love. I think the future looks really good. Hi, my name is Jackie and I'm a ride leader with Cascade and I am Cascade. 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 I'm a Cascade member. I have been a Cascade member since 1974 and I will be a Cascade member all the way to the end. <laughs>
also helps us build a new loaner bicycle fleet for use by our community members. And wow, okay, so we have a donation from Richard Wolf and Anonymous. We have an anonymous donation of $5,000. Thank you, Anonymous, whoever you are. Big thumbs up to you. And oh my goodness, there is a donation from Charles and Jane Rutherford. Amazing. We are off to a very strong start. Keep the magic going. Now let's talk about the $2,500 level. Uh, if you can join us with a gift of $2,500, go ahead and click that link now and let's get to giving. It feels so good when we give in service of our values. A $2,500 gift enables us to develop and implement a MTP youth cohort and leadership program, which I know Rachel would super duper love to see. All right, we have those $2,500 gifts rolling in. This is looking good. Thank you so much. Now on to the $1,000 level. $1,000, if you're able to join us with a gift at this level, click the link, get into this party, it feels great. And remember, we're still being matched dollar for dollar. Uh, $1,000 edits an educational video for our Let's Go program, or it helps us develop a Cascade Marketplace tool so that we can sell donated bikes to raise money for MTP and other community programs. And these $1,000 gifts are rolling in. This looks fantastic. Thank you to Christopher Shannon and Nick Brown. Hello, thank you. Mary Foster, yes. Haley Keller, Haley. Thank you so much. This is looking fantastic. If you're able to give at $1,000 or more, keep those gifts rolling in. We need you. Now, let's talk for a moment about the $500 level. If you're able to join us with a gift of 500, you know what to do. It's time to click the link. $500 allows us to keep hosting our Advocacy Leadership Institute training and Oh my, Cindy McCall, she's answered our call, already given at $500. And we have Kermit Williams, Pam and Mark Means, Joseph Roberts, Jeff and Suzanne Kuntz, and Stacy Bain. We have David Fright, oh David, if I just massacred your last name, I'm so sorry, please forgive me. It's the excitement of your generosity. And John, John, thank you for your gift. If you are able to give at $500 or more, keep those gifts a coming. We need you and now is the time. Friends, it is now time to talk about the $250 level. If you're able to join us with a gift of $250 or more, you know how to do it. I don't have to say click the link, but I'm gonna say it anyway. And let's remember, this is the last level available for that matching pool. So when you give 250, Cascade Bicycle Club gets 500. It's a no brainer. If you were thinking of giving 200, please bump up, please stretch with us and double your investment. Now, a $250 gift, this, they're pouring in. They're pouring in. John Beach, thank you. Lisa Richmond, yes. Ron Runyon, high five, virtual high five, Ron. Harry Edwards, thank you. Uh, Seamus Kelly, Allison Handy, Amanda Barnett, Richard Smith. We have so many gifts at the $250 level. This is incredible. Robert, Julie, Jeffrey Powers, another Robert. We've got Sean and Brian and Eleanor and Lawrence all coming in. Wow, they keep coming. This is magical. I know you want to get that matching money, right? We've got Steven and Ross, Patrick, Barb, who rides all over the dang place, and Merlin, Nelson, Jean, Mike O'Brien. Hey, Mike. And Jim and Kurt. And I just had an analog message displayed at me. Does, what does that mean? You want to shout it out to me? We are at $50,000. $50,000. This is amazing work, friends. But we need you to keep those gifts a coming. So, I have faith in you. I see your philanthropic muscle. It is mighty, it is powerful. Keep clicking that donation link. Let's now talk about the $100 level. This is a meaningful level. Every gift counts. All of it means that our community, we are showing up together to accomplish this goal. $100 can get us a new kid's bike 
or it can sponsor a one hour ride to learn session. And wow, okay, we see these $100 gifts coming in. Thank you, Suzanne Skinner, Shardell Payne, Faith DeBolt, Patrick Taylor, and we've got Don Blakeney, Dieter, oh, if I mess up your name again, I am so sorry. It's the, it's the energy and enthusiasm. It gets me going crazy sometimes. Shauna Williams, Julia E. Novak, Brendan Patrick, Carrie, Kareen, Jackie, Patricia Devereaux, Mark Knoll, Demi Allen. There's so many gifts at 100. This is beautiful. Please keep them coming. Dongo Chang, John, Damien, Era, Sam, Jean, and Dave, Margo, Catherine, James, Clifford, Courtney, Jessica, Peter. You all are rocking my world. Gwen, Michelle, David, beautiful work. Thank you for joining us at the $100 level. You are making our dreams come true at Cascade Bicycle Club. Keep clicking that link. Keep give your, giving your gifts. We need you and we appreciate you. So thank you. Now, now, let's talk about gifts of anywhere from one to $99. If you have already joined us, thank you so much. You want to dive back in to help us get towards our goal? We could use your help. If you have not yet given, now is the time. I want to make sure you know that we have a little thank you gift for you. Every gift of $25 or more receives a special 50th anniversary neck gaiter. And you're going, Sasha, what's a neck gaiter? I don't want an alligator around my neck. No, it's not an alligator. It's a neck gaiter. It's essentially like a little sleeve and it's all beautifully branded Cascade Bicycle Club. And you can pull it over up your, uh, over your uh, mouth and nose to, hey, bike safely during COVID times, but also to keep you warm in winter. It is awesome and you know you want it and every gift of $25 or more gets you this net gator. So please, all gifts are welcome at all levels. Please just send them in, send them in now. And here they come, Alyssa Haslam. Hey, Pinky. Jeff Wilcox, Chris Weiss, Alan Durning, Serena, and Nikki, thank you so much for your gifts. And we have Anna, Olga, Selena, and Brian, rock on my friends. You are doing good work this morning, but I wanna see all gifts at all levels. We are currently at $60,000, $60,000, which means we have a long way to go for our goal, but you know what? I believe in us. I believe in you and I know we can get there. Let's see, what other gifts do we have coming in? I love our community and I love acknowledging them. Oh, these gifts are just pouring in. We're gonna to talk to you a little bit in a little bit about your grand total. How are we doing over here? We're doing really well, 60,000. 60,000, we are so grateful for these gifts. Now, continue to make your gifts at any level. Just click that link and send them on in. And if you wanna give two, three, four, five times, nobody gonna be mad at you. Go ahead, you do you, boo. We're here to gratefully accept your gift and put your gift to work. Couple of quick announcements for the good of the order because we are a community and we want to share community with you. I want to tell you about the virtual STP. You heard about this a little bit earlier, but I'm gonna tell you more about it. In July, you will be invited to ride 200 miles locally in 10 or 20 mile increments. So keep your eyes peeled for that. We also wanna shout out our sister organization, Washington Bikes. Washington Bikes is hosting their annual Bike Everywhere Challenge and we are counting all the ways that you can commute or ride for fun, from biking to walking, busing to scooting, you know, however you get around, let's count it and let's make it count, right? So, let's see, we have some more gifts. We've got Serena, Alan, Chris. Yes, keep them going. I, we're going backwards. No, that's the wrong way. Go the other way. There we go. And Chris Kagan, rock on, Chris. Uh, no need to stop. You can keep these gifts coming in. We are at $60,000. And you know what? I have some very, very good news for you. Any gift that is given any time today before midnight will count towards today's goal. So you can keep your gifts a coming and we will gratefully receive them and put them to work. If you know somebody who cares about cycling, who's the Cascade Bicycle Club's work matters to them in their community, why don't you tap them? 
virtually, of course. We're not going to actually touch, especially not without consent and not during COVID times. But tap your friends and say, hey, I attended this amazing virtual breakfast this morning and we're helping Cascade Bicycle Club get where they need to go. Would you consider joining me in making a gift? Maybe you can ask your friends to match your gift. Wouldn't that be magical? Isn't that the power of community? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your amazing gifts. We've got Tony, Bob, Susan, and Keiko hopping on in there. Uh, we, let's see, Dale, thank you for your gifts. Thank you all for your gifts. And most importantly, thank you for sharing this virtual space with us today. Thank you for spending time with us today. Thank you for being actionable, taking action when it comes to your values. We are Cascade Bicycle Club. I am Sasha Summer Kuzno. Thank you for spending this time with us. Enjoy the rest of your day.